Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at complete combustion, and in particular, what happens when fuels fully react with oxygen. So when you take any fuel and react it with oxygen, which is in the air, it will give out energy. That's what combustion is. Complete combustion is where we have lots of oxygen. So the example I'm going to show you here is where methane, which is from our Bunsen burner, is reacted with the oxygen in the air. So you can see when I light the Bunsen burner, it's giving out lots of energy. Now what is actually produced as well are two gases, water vapour and carbon dioxide. As my carbon dioxide and water vapour enter this apparatus here, what will happen is the gases will pass through and be surrounded by ice. When it's surrounded by ice, that will cool it down so the water vapour turns back into liquid. And I'm using some cobalt chloride paper, which has gone from blue to pink, which proves that water is present. The rest of the gases, which is carbon dioxide, will then pass into my boiling tube on the right. That boiling tube is full of lime water. The test for carbon dioxide is it turns lime water cloudy, as you can see here. So let's look at what's going on in terms of word and symbol equations. So as I've said, you take any fuel, you react it with oxygen, you get carbon dioxide and water. And that's the same for any fuel. So regardless of what the name of the fuel is, it reacts with oxygen, it produces carbon dioxide and water. The only difference is with complete combustion is you have lots of oxygen. If you don't have enough oxygen, it becomes incomplete combustion, but we'll cover that in a different video. So if we use methane as the example, if they ask you to write a word equation for the reaction of methane, it will be methane plus oxygen produces carbon dioxide and water. Now normally they'll give you the formula of the thing that's reacting. Writing the rest of the balanced equation is nice and easy. For oxygen, think of the phone company, it's O2, goes around in pairs. Carbon dioxide you should all remember is CO2 and water you should know is H2O. So in the exam, just remembering O2, CO2 and H2O, that's going to get you easy marks. You might get two marks just for being able to do that. The third mark would be for balancing it. So if we have a look at what we've got. On the left, I have one carbon, I have four hydrogens and I've got two oxygens. On the right, I've got one carbon, I've got two oxygens in my CO2 and one oxygen in my H2O, so I've got three in total, and I've got two hydrogens. So if I want to balance it, I'm going to put a 2 in front of my H2O. And the reason for that is I've got an odd number of oxygen and I want to make that even. So if I do that, my hydrogen goes from 2 to 4, but my 1 oxygen becomes a 2, giving me a total of 4 oxygens. Now what that does, it means my carbons are now balanced and my hydrogens are balanced. But I've got 4 oxygens on the right, 2 on the left, so what do I need to times it by? 2. So therefore I put a 2 in front of my O2 and it becomes balanced. And that's really everything you need to know. Once you do that, as long as you can balance, and if you can't, there's plenty of videos in my skills section that you can have a look at. But once you can balance, you can do any word and any balanced equation for it. So if we have a look at an example, ethane is a gas that's found in natural gas. When it combusts, it gives out lots of energy. Look at the diagram for ethane C2H6 below. Number one, write the word equation for the complete combustion of ethane, that's worth one mark. And number two, write the balanced equation for the complete combustion of ethane, that one's worth three marks. The indicator there, one mark, word equation, just put the words, ethane, not C2H6. Balanced equation, that's where you need the symbols. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Right, let's go through. So the nice and easy one, the word equation. We know we're starting off with ethane. It's complete combustion, therefore it involves oxygen. So ethane plus oxygen. And what does it produce? Complete combustion always produces carbon dioxide and water. So you needed all four to get the mark. On to question two then. So the balanced equation. So it told us in the question that we've got ethane, which was C2H6. And then oxygen, remember the phone company, it's O2. Carbon dioxide, you should always remember, is CO2. And water, you should always remember, is H2O. By doing that, you've gained two marks in an exam nice and easily. Then all we need to do is balance it. Now this is a tricky one here, but even if you didn't get this, you should still be able to get two of the three marks. So, I've got two carbons, six hydrogens, and two oxygens on the left. And on the right, I've got one carbon, 
two hydrogens and then I've got two oxygens in my carbon dioxide and one oxygen in my H2O, so I've got three. Now normally my rule for balancing is taking the big odd number and double it, which in this case the only odd number I've got is a one. So if I choose the oxygen for example and double my one oxygen in my H2O, let's see what happens. So I double it, I get two oxygens here, which gives me four oxygens in total, and I double my hydrogen and I get four. Now the issue here is I didn't need four, I needed six, so it doesn't work. So we have to go back to the drawing board. So I've got two hydrogens on the right, six on the left, let's have a go at tripling that. So two times three gives me six hydrogens, which is perfect, but it times is my oxygen in my H2O by three as well. So that means I have five oxygens on the right. Now there's no way I can get from two to five, so that also doesn't work. So what do I need to do? And this is the beauty of balanced equations. You just play around with them until it does work. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna take my C2H6 and I'm gonna double that, and that will become clear in a second. So if I double that, I get four carbons and 12 hydrogens. So on the right hand side, let's just choose one of them. I'm gonna go with the carbon. I've got one. What do I times one by to get four? Answer is four. So I put that at the top there, gives me my four carbons, which is now balanced. And it also times is my two oxygens in CO2 by four, which becomes eight, giving me nine in total. Let's have a look at the hydrogens next. I've got 12 on the left, I've got two on the right. What do I times two by to get 12? Six, so I'll put a six in front of my H2O. If I put a six in front of my H2O, I also double my oxygens. Six times one is six. I've now got eight and six, which gives me 14 overall. Now it's just a case of going over to the oxygen. I've got 14. I've got two on the left, what do I times two by to get 14? Seven. So I can put a seven in front of my O2, and that's gonna give me a balanced equation. Now, that is quite difficult, don't worry if you didn't get that, but hopefully you're starting to get the idea now of how putting these balanced equations together is quite straightforward. That's everything there is for this question. I have got a review question which is identical except for we're going to look at propane now. So it says propane is a gas found in natural gas. When it combusts it gives out lots of energy. Look at the diagram for propane below. Write the word equation and write the balanced equation. Exactly the same as what we've just done except for it's a different chemical. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.